The chive blossoms are perfect right now for making these amazing flaky chive blossom biscuits. I'm gonna start by prepping my uh, chives. I can either pluck them and do the, you know, he loves me, he loves me not, or a knife and just cut off the, the, the blossoms. So I've prepped the chives. I'm gonna put them aside for now while we make the dough. To start with, I have two cups of flour. I am adding a tablespoon of baking powder, a quarter teaspoon of baking soda, and three quarter cup of salt. If you're using unsalted butter, you can use a little bit more salt and mix. Before we go any further, we should preheat our oven, set it to 450 degrees. Next step is adding our cold butter. Now I'm gonna get in there with my hands, so I'm gonna go wash them. You can also use a pastry blender or two knives to cut in the butter. The goal of this is to make small pea-sized crumbles. Uh, you want to cover every little bit of flour with a little bit of butter without completely disintegrating the butter totally. So it's a fine balance. And that's why I like to use my hands. I kind of get to feel what's, what's going on. And basically what I'm doing is I'm using my thumb and forefinger and I'm kind of squishing out those butter, uh, those butter crumbs like that and rubbing flour in them while I'm going. I don't totally disintegrate it. I keep a little bit of crumbles. This way I know that I'm going to get nice sized butter pieces and keep that flakiness. Now that we have this coarse looking uneven a bit of butter and flour, we're going to add our buttermilk. Stir that until the liquid, you can't see it pool anymore. It's going to be very shaggy and loose. <laughs> it doesn't look anything like biscuits yet, but this is what you're looking for. Now we're going to add in our chives, a tablespoon of the blossoms, and two tablespoons of the greens. And then I'm going to pour it out onto my counter. Making sure those chives are nicely distributed. And now you want to bring the dough together. So you just sort of pat and squeeze, rotate it a little bit so that the crumbs that are left at the bottom also get incorporated. So roll and squeeze. And you see it's starting to take, take shape and roll and squeeze. As we will roll it out, we will pick up more of those crumbs. If your dough is really quite dry, you can add, uh, you know, just a little dribble of milk or water if you'd, if you'd like and continue to, uh, to pull it together. So I'm gonna stop right there because we don't wanna overwork the dough either. Now I'm going to start rolling it out about eight and a half by 11. So think of a sheet of paper. So try and start shaping it like a rectangle just by varying where you're putting the pressure and roll that baby out. That's about the size of a piece of paper. It doesn't have to be exactly precise. Now I'm going to fold it over and prevent things from sticking to the counter too much. I use my bench scraper or a spatula or something to lift the dough. If it is starting to get too sticky, I can always take a little bit of flour and add that. Not too much, but a little bit. And then I rotate it and I'm going to make another sheet of paper. If you can shape it a little bit to be rectangular, you're gonna have an easier time when you're cutting it. So I have another nice rectangle. Take it and fold it yet again. Roll and fold two to three times. Now I want nine pieces, so I'm gonna cut two lines across like that. There. Time to take out the biscuits. Didn't those puff up nicely? I love seeing those layers. Now we want to drizzle them with a little bit of butter and put on a little bit of sprinkling of more chives. There's a nice flaky biscuit. Look at the layers in that. 
let these cool a little bit and then we're gonna eat them right away because like any other biscuit, these are best eaten when they're super fresh.